<laughs> What's up, everybody? Shit, I feel strong, feeling real good. Today's wake up call was 3 a.m. But you already knew that. Well, we're preparing for a Zoom call at 10. What's up, what's up, what's up, what's up? Practice. Practice this shit, man. This shit, this is the shit that'll save your life, man. This is the shit that'll save your goddamn life. I'm telling you. You're operating from your mind. Every decision you're making, you're making from your mind. And a lot of the decisions that you make aren't the best decisions you should be making. Most of the time, the decisions that you make in life are what's allowed you to survive up until this point. Now, are you living to just barely survive in life? Or are you living to live a real good fucking life? Because I live to live a real good life. I ain't trying to live, you know, just barely scraping by. Fuck that shit. Fuck that shit. But now it's internalizing a state of mind that allows you to go out and operate in life and not be a fucking victim of this shit. To look at this shit and go after this shit. Get everything exactly what the fuck you want. And so yesterday, I see my brother Adolfo here. Yesterday we had the honor of having a sold out event. Sold out fucking event. My first event uh, as the headliner uh, called the Warrior Code. So shout out to every, all my brothers who made it out. All the people who, who came to the event. It was a strong, powerful event. I held nothing back uh, from these teachings. This is the teachings that saved my life, really and uh, has allowed me to continuously transform and ascend into new levels. And I'm, I'm super passionate about teaching this. I'm super passionate about teaching the things that have made my life better. Whoa. We got SF Bay Area Bay. What's up, Bay? But yeah, man, just wanted to jump on live, see who jumps on have some conversation get right back to business man right back to business look don't don't get your foot off the pedal what happens after you reach your goal look I, re I, I reached my goal yesterday right I reached my goal as to how many people I wanted to speak to the audience I wanted to speak to now what happens right after you continue to create what happens to most people when they reach the result? They want to lose weight, they lose 30 pounds, and then after they lose the 30 pounds, what happens immediately? They think it's time to just go back to their old ways, go back to the way of eating, go back to the, their old disciplines. They start sleeping in a little bit more. They start eating a little bit more. And once they reach the result, they lose all the momentum that you've created. Fuck that. Don't lose the momentum once you created it. Continue to create. People, remember this. Create, don't possess. Write that shit down. Create, don't possess. You got to continue to create in your life. Most people, let's say they're, they're working their job and they get a check. They get their check and then the minute they go, they go spend that shit. They go spend that shit on things that bring zero creations. Utilizing all their resources on shit that isn't going to make them better. Shit that's not going to improve their life. You, as the person who's watching this shit, I don't know who watches my shit. I see good people though. Uh, you, as the person who watches this shit, you continue to create in your life whatever it is you want. What do you need in life right now? What are you seeking? What are you trying to improve? Where are you fucking up? Where do you feel resistance? Where are you suffering in life? Because all I've ever looked at my life was, all right, I'm fucking suffering here. Now what? What am I going to do about it? Bitch about it? Moan about it? Cry about it? Fuck no. I'm going to outcreate this motherfucker. All those problems in your life. At some point, you got to get sick and fucking tired of your conditions, of your fucking toxicity bullshit. And in this moment, it's not until people hit rock fucking bottom that they finally decide to make a change in their life. Fuck no, don't wait for that shit. Recognize right now that are you living the life that you want to live? I'm not. Well, I am actually. 
at my extreme, right? At what I want, I am living this shit, but I'm here to tell you, there's still a lot more shit that I want, a lot more shit that I want. Now you gotta look at your life too and be honest over this shit. Are you here to just live every day as if you have zero control of this shit? As if you have zero say in your life? As if you have zero say as to who you want around you? The experiences you wanna have? The people you wanna grow with? My friends, that's all bullshit. It's all bullshit. Why? Because you got a phone call. Got a phone call. Let's see. Hi, good morning. Good morning to you. Good morning to you, love. You're in the right place right now. You're in the right fucking place. You know that? <laughs> she runs away. <laughs> People can't take when you uh, when you put the spotlight on them. I love the spotlight. Put me in the spotlight. Why? Because I'm going to show how much I can fucking shine. I'll show you how much I shine. Right? Don't run from, don't run from the opportunities. Go after them. Most people who... Look, opportunities are everywhere. You got to look at your life and say, fuck, there's opportunities everywhere. They're straight up. They're, they're literally everywhere. Alexa... Put the volume at one. Opportunities in your life, they're everywhere. It's your fucking mind that gets in the way of allowing yourself. It's yourself that blocks this shit from opening up. Let's say, for example, you want to make a certain amount of money. Well, okay, what do you want? How much do you want? 5000 Okay, start with there. 5000 Now, I want you to just imagine... I want you to just eternalize right now. Imagine in your mind how it would feel like if you accomplished your goal of $5,000 that right now, right now you made $5,000, $10,000 and you had that goal to make that money. How would you feel the minute you made it? The minute you finally saw that shit in your account and you're like, fuck yeah, fuck yeah. All that energy and effort that I put into this shit. How would it feel like if you already attained exactly what you wanted? From that feeling, originate that feeling. Feel what it would feel like the minute you hit your goal. The minute you hit your target, what would it feel like? That feeling right there, that's the feeling you need to communicate from. That's the feeling that you need to operate from all day. All day. Keep creating that feeling. You see how it's within your means of creation? It's within your means of saying, hey, 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 I can operate from this state of mind. I can operate from here. Versus, what, what do everybody else do? They're trying to make a dollar just to fucking survive. They're trying to make a deal happen just to... That, that right there, that neediness, the world resists. If you're a man and you're needy towards the woman, you're needy her, you're needing her for whatever... She resists that and she goes away. So what happens when people are needy when it comes to money? Needy when it comes to attention? Needy when it comes to, I don't know, anything they want in life? Well, the world resists. What you chase runs away from you. I don't want to chase everything in my life. I don't want to chase money. Fuck no. I want to become a generator of money. I want to become a generator of attraction. A generator of good feeling. All right, y'all. I think that's good enough for this video. I'm gonna drop this shit here, and then we'll catch up to, we'll re reconvene soon. I got another class today. Be the best, fuck the rest.